everybody, my name is Caretaker, and I'm on the Facebook page Live in Town, and welcome back to my Let's Play slash Guide of Psychonauts. I had some technical difficulty in the last episode, so I'm going to tell you right now, make sure you save often. In fact, I'm going to make one right now, just to make sure. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the coach's mind and start the very first level of Psychonauts. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course... I will have to pull you into my mind. Oh, on the first day? Relive every bullet scar <laughs> so fascinating. Every yeah. battle oh, I have ever faced. It'll be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Frolicking is done in my nature, so let's fuck shit up. I'm ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. I just imagine men talk right now, popping the goggles, I'm just like, <laughs> like going into his mind. If you don't know who that's from, you should definitely be watching Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. It's a fantastic so, cartoon. This is men talk is hilarious. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. <laughs> It's a recruiting office, kids, and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world, being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. <laughs> Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only oh. one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Bring the chubby cheeks. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, kind of obstacle course is this? I give you an A for enthusiasm. That kid just got killed. A mental nah. obstacle course. That's a little high. I'll give you a C. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. I mean, we see items like this. This is positive mental health. You just absorb positive mental health. Like I said, maintaining your mental health is important because if you run out, you will not be able to maintain your astral projection in this mind and you'll be kicked back into the real world. Get five with my head. That shows how many astral projection layers you have. Think Inception. You gotta go layers. Yeah. I have five layers of astral projection. Once I lose five layers, that's it. I will be kicked out of the mind. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up. And when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that oh, no, figment. No, no, no. The first figment, collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to high enough rank, you will earn new psychic abilities. Yeah, and I can link them in the journal, let me show you. On this page, you can see yeah, blah, blah, blah. So you can see all the ones you're missing. It doesn't tell you where they're going to be, but it shows you where they're collected. Who's coaches, little piggy? Hey! I am no one's little piggy. At? We all have emotional baggage, kid. So Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. Or it could be across the way right there. There it is! Now, no shit! You will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found! Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! Alright. I'm only gonna you watch those once heart, and then later I'm just gonna skip them because I don't see any point in saying I'm watching them. I love how dark this game is here. It does not try to play PG. It is a very dark game, especially this level. Okay, make sure you get all the figments. Oops, see? If you don't pay attention, you don't run around, you might lose figments. You're gonna have to come back and backtrack a lot. Like that's just in the nature of the game. 
but you want to make sure you pay attention so you don't miss too many so you can just go to certain parts of the level warp around and get what you need what you get watch out fire down below see you just slide on down and you're all set we can't get past this this is stupid hmm Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> Bobby jumped his foot. That's what? You're stupid, new kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see? Sounds one? like me. Too bad I can't jump into your brain and help you fix them. I guess she puts you back up when you have to go down anyway. You hit like a boy. Is that the point? I love the face she makes. She make a you dubstep like remix of that. Now you could either go up the stairs. When I say stairs, you can go up the ladder, which I would honestly recommend. Coming up here real quick to click these and then go back down. Of course, there is a special route, as Raz mentioned. You're gonna have to go a little bit back and forth in this section just to collect all the pigments, but it's worth it. Especially if you're gonna be going for a 100% run. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Less waiting, more motivating! And one more figment, and we'll hit rank two, three. God, Lord, I'm just. My head is not here today. These dog tags should do it. Alright. Rank three. Now you want, like I said, you want to make sure you drop down here and collect all these loose figments. You want to jump on those too, because there's a blimp, as well as an airplane on the other side. So you definitely want to grab. Move, move, move. Gonna make the jump? Oh yeah. I honestly did not think I was gonna make that. Some of the figments like that, you have to jump up and grab. So make sure you do that. I stand corrected. There is two of them. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain, as you can see. Just gotta angle it right and jump into it. There we go. Be sure to get the blink on this pass out. And we're all set. Awesome. I can easily make this jump, so. On to the next part. The bullet bushes. Gotta love them. Like I said, Tim Schafer is brilliant. I love his designs. Get a figment. And... Your name, Joey. No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, There's Slowy? I can't There's hear you. You're talking to me. I haven't slow. liked that sign. Ah, ah, ah. Some of his humor isn't all that funny. A lot of it is. I said, make sure you come down here. And when you do, knock all this out of your way, and you will find a purse. It's awfully manly. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. He's got this obsession with death, not the good kind. <laughs> Those are the most annoying figments ever. Oh, 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 jeez, I thought I was gonna die there for a second. I don't think you can honestly lose astral layers in Coach's mind, but I'm not gonna risk it. So, oh. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. Well, the fact that molasses is doing that in general is just impressive. These are the most annoying ones because 
yeah, as you can see, you gotta backtrack a lot of the time and they can go out of range. This is really bad in Mila's stage too, because they will fly everywhere and you will lose track of them very, very easily. All right, take a quick look. Looks like we're good here. And now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. See, this is honestly one of the get best tutorial Wait, levels like ever. The simple fact that it's fun. It's not it was annoying. Do this to do this. The only time it was at was early on, and that was just fixing your camera. The rest of it is very, very fun, and it teaches you how to do it. A lot like Mega Man. Now, you don't have to help Dogen here. What I would recommend is running through and grabbing all the figments. Of course, do not hit the mines if you don't want to blow up. Grab the figments. If you want, you can push this to the top because this is what you need to open that. It says you to save, which we will do in a second. And see, had it not been paying attention, I would have lost that. But it's a good thing I'm going back to help Dogen out because. Not an achievement, but he does give you something in return. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Is so that you can choose to ignore him, or Follow you can help me. him? Okay. And this is a bit of a pain because he goes very slow. Less so waiting, more motivating. I can't do it. I yes, you just can walk up to him and talk to him. Just and... Okay. Okay. I can't do it. You can do it. Okay. You gotta. Oh no, Dogen. Uh. Luckily, he's got Follow lots of layers. Me. I'll help you through the be very, okay. very careful with them. There's not a lot of escort missions, thankfully. Because this is a pain in the ass. But it's worth it, I promise. Move, move, move. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Okay. Dogen's hilarious. Come on, Dogen. Let's do weed. Let's get you out of the minefield. I didn't explode at all. Good hustle out there. Hey, um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. This is a psychic arrowhead. Its raw energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you find they add up over time. And as you can see, bam, I get some move, arrowheads. Move, move. Not a lot, but as it said, it will add up over time. Plane's going down, soldier! Like this guy hey, does no a lot of really bad shoot. stories. Washington but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump in the next episode. So thank you for joining me on this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye.